Drew Gaelic has this new gimmick where he's auditioning for new roles and he's constantly getting fucked up. So, like, I think last show he was like an interviewer and then Charlotte put him in a figure eight. This time he's the assistant to the contract signing and I put him in an arm bar. And then the next match, <laughs> he's the timekeeper on the, on the, uh, on the speed submission challenge and Charlotte loses so then she goes and puts him in her new dragon sleeper hold after because he did the timekeeping and she lost. <laughs> Just the and he, he was auditioning as the new timekeeper. <laughs> At first, I'm like, why are they being, why are they disrespecting Drew like this? And now I'm like, you know what, this is actually really funny. And I think he's going to get super <laughs> over with this. I have a short, very short <laughs> match with Shotzi. I'm trying to beat the clock and see how fast I can submit her, which I think is like, it kind of sucks for Shotzi because she's getting, being brought out with, the assumption that she's going to lose so what I need to do is find like I'm looking up what her signature moves are oh she does a great suicide dive and find out what she does that nobody else does and what I can do with her like what what is unique in the combination of me and her basically so when she does that Maybe we could do something there, and I can counter it. She does this thing where she kind of runs and pulls her head down. Well, that's fun. Man, she's got some awesome moves here. I think one of the my strengths is, ooh, okay, we can do something from here. Is I can come up with something. I can come up with things that are like innovative, like, like technique-wise. the build to WrestleMania backlash. Uh, Vince actually gave me a weekend off, which was really cool. And I forgot about it. I remember being told about it before Mania, but I was so like blinders on. Poe was like just starting to get congested around the time we would have had to leave again for the next SmackDown. So there were a couple days where I had to get up a couple times a night and like walk her around for like an hour. I would have been hammered if I was doing that and had to like perform. <laughs> So I'm glad, you know, I got to do that at home. <laughs> now, we're back in the action and it's a double show. Pushing away from me anyway. I've never lose my quit match. I either win or I die. <laughs> Those are the two options, so I feel confident. I don't think backlash is uh, the way that I go out, <laughs> so I'm gonna win 100%. I really want this I quit match to be more unique and technical than any other I quit match, but I think most of them is just like. We're gonna beat the shit out of each other until somebody gives up. Like, I'm gonna hit you with a chair a thousand times. If you give up. So they're really kind of putting it over as me and Charlotte as submission specialists, which I like about the submission challenge. But the match itself, I got some fun ideas. Me and Charlotte's thing is we are just constantly trying to kill each other and everything else fades to the background while we're doing that. So. I think I quit match is kind of perfect. I don't think I quit match is a time on this. I mean, I, I think it can't be like the original UFC when it goes on for three hours. But I mean, yeah, I, 
It would be cool though, but I quit match didn't end when it was supposed to, and they just like picked it up again next week. Like they've been fighting this whole time. You know how they like <laughs> like herd sometimes like cattle and stuff. They'll put up these big boards and push them. So like as we're fighting, they're like herding us into like one of the TV trucks, and they just pull the truck thing down. And you just hear oh, no 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 no, and they pull it up next city, and we just like spill out and keep fighting. Oh my god, that'd be great. <laughs>